Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be explaining coordinates and how to determine the coordinates of a specific place on a map. But I'll be focusing more on um, minutes and seconds. I've also posted a video on coordinates quite long ago and uh, in that video I focused more on degrees. So um, that video is more basic. So if you don't really know anything about the basics Go to the end of this video where you will find a link that will take you straight to that video and then come back to this video. But before we start, I think it's important that we know where the equator is and where the Greenwich Meridian is when we look at this, let's call it a map. Right, so I think many of you have figured it out already. If we have a look at this map here and we see 21 degrees 15 minutes, it means everything on this line here, on this line of longitude is 21 degrees and 15 minutes. Then if we move in this direction, you'll see that this line here is 21 degrees and 21 minutes. Now, as we move in this direction, you'll notice that these numbers increase. In other words, we are moving further away from the Greenwich Meridian. In other words, the Greenwich Meridian is on that side of the map. So everything here is east of the Greenwich Meridian. Then if we look at these numbers over here, you'll see it's 62 degrees and 2 minutes. And here we see 61 degrees 58 minutes. In other words, the numbers increase as we move in that direction, which means the equator is down here. Um, south of this specific area. So everything on this map is north of the equator and east of the Greenwich Meridian. Very important to remember. Something else which is very important to remember is that there's 60 minutes in one degree and 60 seconds in one minute. Very very important and I'll explain why it's important to remember this. Okay, so if your teacher gives you a certain place, let's say it's this place over here, we'll do minutes first, and let's call it point A. And your teacher wants you to give the coordinates for point A. Then what will we do? Well, as I've mentioned in the, the previous video on coordinates, give latitude first. So, let's have a look. If we have 61 degrees 58 minutes here, then we have... 59 minutes and then 60 but please remember that there's only 60 minutes in one degree so if we go from 59 to 60 then it uh, then it becomes 62 degrees so this line here is exactly 62 degrees north and then if we move up one line then it will be 62 degrees and one minute right so point a is so point a is 62 degrees and one minute north right in order to determine longitude we are going to look at these lines so this is 21 degrees 15 minutes and we have already said that the numbers increase as we move in that direction. So 21 degrees, 15 minutes. And then this line will be 21 degrees, 16 minutes. So then you write 21 degrees, 16 minutes. Okay. Right now I know many of you will be asking, but, but what do you do if there's a place exactly between or somewhere in between these lines? What do you do then? And this is what I'm going to explain next. So let's say you've got a place or your teacher wants you to give the coordinates for this place right there and we call it point B. What I always say is just follow the steps. There are always a few steps you have to follow and if you just follow the steps you can't go wrong so first thing we need to know is um, the the latitude here we know that we have 61 degrees 58 minutes so everything on this line is 61 degrees 58 minutes 61 degrees 59 minutes and then we have 62 degrees on this line we go from 
from 59 to 60 but remember there's only 60 um, minutes in one degree and that's why we uh, change it to 62 degrees so here as I said 61 degrees 59 minutes but it's halfway in between these two lines so it will be 61 degrees 59 minutes and because it's halfway in between these two lines and because we know there's 60 minutes uh, in, in or 60 seconds in one minute this will be 30 seconds and we know by now that it's north of the equator right now we want to determine the longitude so let's see let's look at what we've got always remember number one follow the steps number two use what you've got so here we've got 21 degrees 15 minutes so this will be 16 minutes 21 degrees 17 minutes and then this will be 18 minutes so same principle applies here we will say 21 degrees 17 minutes it's halfway in between let's just write it down first so it's 21 degrees 17 minutes and it's halfway in between 17 and 18 so once again it will be 30 seconds that's how easy it is but please remember that in order to work accurately you need to sometimes use a ruler and and measure um, these distances just to make sure that you work accurately right so if you have any further questions please feel free to pop a comment down in the, the comment section if you have any requests please ask me I've, I've been getting a few requests I can only do one at a time so thanks for watching feel free to subscribe See you next time. Goodbye.